Hello again, everybody. This is Derek, and I am back with some Xenonauts 2. And if you watched the last video, we had just gotten our monthly income. I spend it all already, and we are on our way to perform a clearance of Crash Site 17, which is an observer, and it looks like it's in, if I was to guess, maybe Germany, Austria, South Poland, somewhere in there. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, I love it when we're in the corner here because then they can't get around behind us and jazz and whatnot. And what's so, what I'll need to do is make sure there's nothing here, and there's not. Now, we haven't seen anything. I'm going to take a gander at this map. Okay, this looks like... Wait, it's supposed to be in, like, Poland or something, but maybe not. Nope, what we need to do is... Make sure there's nothing over here. And there's not. So far, so good. Okay, we got our sniper, we got our heavy weapon. We're gonna have a couple of riflemen clear over here. Got a couple of riflemen clear over here. But this guy looks like he's going to clear down this alleyway. Right, is that everybody? It is. I don't like the sound of that. a growling sound. Now, do I want to go inside there? Why not? Okay. I'm not going to shoot him. Can I take cover behind that? A little bit. It only gives my right corner cover. Taking cover behind, what are these, cabbage patches? Now the sniper, I think I want to leave him where he's at. Because he's got the longer range. Okay. That's a hit. That's a hit. That's a miss. Now that guy looks darker. Like maybe he's got... Okay. God, these guys look Arabic. Oh, 
Back to me. All right. Well, that took care of that. Oh, you're going to shoot. Oh, look at that. Eight elves. Oh, my God. Shoot again. Very low chance to hit. Or kind of like take cover. At least he's not bleeding. He's already suppressed, so I didn't really need to do that. <clears throat> 41? Yeah, that'll give me a shot. Nice. He came out over there. We're not going to stick our neck out. We're just going to come up close to the edge of the wall. He's going to have to do a med kit. At least he's not bleeding. That would have changed my entire outlook on what I did if he was bleeding. But he is panicked. Well, darn. That's okay. Lee Lee is all about it being a team player. Give him 30 health back. Okay. Oh, I see a guy like right there. See if he comes out the door. Yep. Oh! There's a guy like right there. Look at that big blast. Boom! He's not bleeding. 
but he is wounded. Got the okay, here we go. Okay, these guys. up a, a battle line across the map I think we've taken care of everybody outside the ship I'm just guessing so now we're going to turn on the wheels Mason is injured. And or has low time units. This guy's just running back and forth over here. He's in the way. Hope he doesn't get killed. Okay, right to the box. Told you I was gonna turn on the wheels. Now this guy wants to kind of do a small little flank just to make sure there's nobody. Hiding around this truck. Get out of our way. There you go.
Oh yeah, him. All right, we're like stacked up, ready to go. We're going in. Hello. Goodness gracious. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. I heard a wop wop. Oh, there are a couple elevators. They're right there. Okay. Let's go ahead and stack up on these elevators. Sniper doesn't really need... Oh, okay, I could switch to, like, batons. We could go in with uh, stun in mind. <clears throat> we'll see. Maybe I'll switch to batons.
All right, we switched to batons. We're ready to go. I will send Captain Fedor Ivanov in first. You suppressed it first with a grenade. That way it wouldn't shoot at us as we tried to approach. Nalea did get wounded. Ten missions. Okay. And it, we've captured a Mentark, but it looks like we've already had a captured Mentark because that's not gold. All right, let's see. What kind of shenanigans? There we go. Tissue regen. Oh, look at those fingers. Uh, seem to require medical attention. I have a long belief studying suggests, thankfully. This unlocks several potential improvements. The first is an upgrade to our existing infantry med kit. Replaces the existing bandages with a spray. More idiot proof? Okay. An alternative is the auto med dispenser module that can be carried. This will automatically monitor the wearer's vital signs and eject aerosol cloud. Finally, it should also be possible to speed the recovery of wounded soldiers by immersing them in backed up fluid. No, uh, nanite infused healing serum. We've got to upgrade our medical center. So, surgical center, auto med module, engineering projects. I'm already building stuff. Okay, by transferring those sectons over, I can now do the secton corpse analysis. I think I'm going to throw that in there. Base upgrades would be the surgical center. I don't have the money. See, that's the deal with that. The auto med module and advanced med kit. Those should be like once you build them, then all of your stuff is automatically upgraded. So let's see if I have stuff that I could sell. That puts me into a spot that I could build one of these. The auto med module. It automatically dispenses coagulants and healing nanites when the soldier carrying it is wounded, causing them to regenerate 25 hit points per turn. 
and curing any bleeding wounds. So why would I not want that? All right. <clears throat> we don't have a research project? Oh, okay. Fusion explosives, of course. Okay, we got a phantom interceptor. They're gonna be build the accelerator cannon. And we've got our Angel 4 arriving in Europe. We've got a bunch of people showing up in Europe in case they get attacked. We've got our engineers. Should speed things along. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna go ahead and equip the Phantom with that accelerator cannon. Nice, okay. Maybe I need to transfer that other plating back. I've given this guy fuel. I don't have any plating, but I think I should transfer it. I think I've got plating here. Blade of plating right there. <clears throat> now this USA has two phantoms, so it should be able to take pretty much anything on. But not necessarily, but have a better chance of doing it. Secton Corpse, okay. Okay, let's get this automated module finished and then we might do an attack on this base. Okay, no further. Pause. Okay, well that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set this uh, base assault up right now but we're not going to actually conduct it until the next video. Um, sign him. So we got a heavy. We got. We don't really need a sniper inside a base. I wouldn't think, right? Okay, we're not, we also don't need two heavies, so I'm gonna... Yeah, there we go. And... Okay, I didn't think of this. I could take that sniper and switch him to a rifleman. There we go, we're good. We're gonna have a Mars and a heavy and a bunch of riflemen. Module, there we go. So, if I have the module in my vest, will that work? I think it will. 
Oh. I don't have the rifles. I don't have the rifles to do enough to do that many riflemen. I see. Need to build some more laser rifles. And I transferred all my accelerator rifles out. Hmm. Okay, that guy's gonna be good. Go ahead and save that as a heavy. We're gonna save that as a rifleman. There we go. to give him a weapon. Guess I could go back to making him a sniper. Okay. All right, we got them already going to the alien base, and we will do that in the next video. All right, guys, thanks for coming out and checking this out, and I will catch you in the next one.